Hey everybody, it is time to take on the Baylor Bears and it is our first away game of the season, so let's get started. It is another bright sunny day in Waco, Texas. I don't know if you've ever been there or not, but they have a really cool stadium right next to the river. I've never been in the stadium, but I have driven by it on Interstate 35 in Texas, and it's a pretty cool place. Uh, since the last game, I have upgraded Oklahoma by playing a little bit further through and uh, getting a few more free agents and things. So we should be a little bit better, better able to compete with some of the teams because it was pretty bad earlier. And we have a little bit better Oklahoma team now after making some moves. I guess you could say in the transfer portal, if we were to put this in terms of college football, we got a few transfers. And that right there will be a touchdown for Oklahoma. We're already seeing that talent pay off, although I will say that was a player I already had, so maybe not. But that was a huge touchdown. And of course, I missed the point. I thought about getting a kicker. I thought, eh, some other positions are more important, but that may come back to bite me later. Baylor now with the ball will take the touchback, and it's going to be a handoff. And their running back's decent, but he just couldn't go through three or four people. He got stopped there after a short gain. And this is going to be a passing play by Baylor with all day to throw, but it's underthrown. It's going to bring up third and seven now. And rushing the quarterback, we almost get to them, but unfortunately, Baylor gets the throw. And... That's going to be a first down for Baylor. And oh, here comes another throw. Dangerous throw intercepted. I knew that was dangerous as soon as it started to head towards the players. I was like, that. there's a good chance that's going to be intercepted. So we get the ball back. That's a really good time to get the ball back. And we're going to get it down to the 45 on the Baylor side of the field. And we have a chance to maybe run away with this game if we can just get things going here offensively. One of the transfers that I got was a really good tight end who on in every category is almost five-star, I think. So hoping that makes a big difference offensively because it's kind of where we were I mean we were obviously struggling defensively too and I got a one defensive player I think but you know offensively we needed to be able to make something happen and lots of times we just couldn't do it when we needed to so I hope is this will change things a little bit when it does a dangerous throw got to get this in the end zone somehow I'm going to try a quarterback run I haven't done that as much as I used to always do and there we go that is a touchdown and we will go up by two scores and i'm going to go for two since i missed the extra point earlier and we got it as a diving catch by jumper again and that will be that will make it 14 to 0 with 43 seconds left in the first quarter baylor now returning the ball it's going to be out to the 10 the 15 the 20 and going to get stopped there after a 15 yard gain it's going to be another handoff by Baylor going to the right side and getting tackled after two yards. This time it's going to be a passing play, but Baylor, Baylor with all day to throw. It's going to throw it short, and that's going to be a first down, down to the sideline, all the way to the 35. Comes another handoff by Baylor on first down. It's going to be no gain there. Second and 10, passing play by Baylor. And this time it's good in the middle for a first down, 13 yards, almost down to midfield. And that will end the first quarter. We are up 14 to zero, but Baylor is moving down the field on us. And defense is struggling to stop this Baylor team who's just methodically going down the field. Incomplete on first down for Baylor though. Gonna bring up second and 10 and a handoff. And that's gonna be a five yard run, making it third and five. Baylor looking to throw again, running out of time. It's going to be a quarterback run, but he cannot run very fast. Oh, he gets the blocks that he needs, though, and gets the first down. Wow, that looked like it was going to be not anywhere close to the first down and ended up and it ended up being a first down play. Quarterback rushed and having to throw the ball, misses his target, making it second and 10. And Oklahoma getting a rusher through pretty consistently. The Baylor offensive line struggling to protect the quarterback. Third and 10 now for Baylor. Wide open receiver on the side, and that's going to be a first down after breaking a tackle and an 11-yard gain. So Baylor methodically moving down the field, and they are in our territory, deep in our territory. In spite of us rushing them, they are still doing quite well passing the ball, and that will be a pass all the way down to the 10. And all of a sudden, Baylor is knocking on the door, getting ready to, getting ready to score for their first time in this game. And touchdown, wide open receiver in the end zone, and Baylor... 
will get six points. Baylor going for two to try to bridge the gap a little bit in the score, and they will get it. So 14 to eight right now is the score. We only have a six point lead in what looks like a game where we might run away with it. Turns out that this might be a very close and competitive game. And we will return it out to the 23 yard line. It's gonna be a passing play by Baylor, not by Baylor, by Oklahoma. Oh, <laughs> intercepted, oh no. That's what we cannot afford to do was intercept or throw an interception. Oh, why am I throwing such dangerous passes? Overthrown by Baylor, if that had not been overthrown, that would have been a wide, I mean, it was a wide open receiver. That might have been a touchdown if it weren't for the fact that that were overthrown. This right here is gonna be a touchdown pass after a broken tackle. 30 yards for Baylor, and Baylor all of a sudden with an opportunity to take the lead with the extra point, and they will get it. So Baylor now on top, coming down from a two-score deficit, has somehow pulled ahead with one minute left in the first half. It is imperative that we score again, because if we do not score again, then uh, we are going to be in trouble going into the second half, where I'm not sure who gets the ball to start with, actually. I want to say Baylor gets the ball, but I could be wrong. Incomplete pass as I try to pass it short to my running back. That's going to bring up second and ten. Oh no! I literally had the cursor moving toward my receiver, but I just couldn't get there fast enough before I got sacked. I'm going to have to take whatever yards I can get here. It's going to be fourth down, but I have to go for it. Probably should have called a timeout. I don't like that play call. Okay, that's a little bit better. Not much though. Okay, that's at least the first down. I'm going to call my first timeout with 22 seconds left. I was hoping this tight end would be a huge difference maker, but I'm not sure if that's actually going to be the case. Okay, I'm going to have to throw it away. Can't risk getting sacked there. And I just need somebody to get open, and he does. And thankfully my tight end's really good at catching because I underthrew that a little bit. A lot of tight ends would have dropped that, so I'm very glad he caught that. Got to make a play here. Oh no, two yards short again. Why does this always happen? I'm always in these situations where I need to score very quickly. I only have like a minute or two minutes left to score. And it always comes down to I'm always one or two yards short every single time. I think I must just not have the combination of quarterback and wide receiver that I need to score quickly enough. The tight end, he's really good, but he just can't score quickly because he doesn't go down the field far enough. And that is a disaster. This game is turning to a disaster. We, we are about to throw away a two-score lead. That is tragic. And we could have been up three touchdowns right now if we hadn't thrown the interception, if we had scored right there like we should have. It's just a combination of just really bad, bad luck, I guess you could say, or just bad decisions by me. Uh, probably mostly that. I just take too long to get the ball in my hand sometimes. Mainly because I just don't want to throw an interception, but the problem is, ooh, that's a sack right there. Five yard loss for Baylor. Uh, but the problem is that you just can't move the cursor fast enough to avoid getting a sack sometimes. So, all right. Here we go. First down again for Baylor. That seems to be the story of the night. They just keep on getting the first downs. We cannot stop Baylor. They're about to pull ahead by even more than a point. They're about to pull ahead by probably a full touchdown, and they do. Oh no. That means we're gonna have to go for a touchdown and then go for two just to catch up. And the extra point is good. So 22 to 14 is the score right now. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the touchback here. Thankfully, we have plenty of time to catch up, but I really need my defense to do something in this game. And there's a nice pass to my tight end. I just realized I have two tight ends playing right now. I didn't know you could do that in this game. I thought you could only have one on the field at a time, but I guess you can actually have one on each side, which is really cool if that's the case. If that's the case, and I could have had a lot more weapons in the past that I didn't know about. <laughs> Unless I'm just remembering what his name was wrong. Maybe I do only have one tight end. All right, we're down to the red zone. Just got a score on this on this drive. Ugh, I'm just getting all these little short little yards. I need to get a very long yard situation here. Some explosive play. Are you serious? We're gonna fumble it right there? 
That's not even my fault. Why, why did that happen? I have good offensive players. Why are they fumbling against a bad defense? It doesn't even make sense. That's not even fair. That is not fair at all. I'm actually kind of upset about that. I feel like we were wrong. I feel like we deserve better as Retro Bowl players than that. I need the makers of Retro Bowl to explain. Oh wow, overthrown. Third and two. It's gonna be a handoff. Right to the middle on our defense. It's like our defense knew it was coming and still couldn't stop it. Alright, it's another handoff this time. And that's gonna be three yard gain. Just eating that clock up. And that's gonna be a pass to the tight end. Oh wow, it was a rough tackle there by my defense. But I am glad they need to tackle rough here. Oh, oh, get him, okay. So we're gonna force a situation here where Baylor's gonna go for the field goal. Oh wow, that went way to the right. I'm pretty sure it did not look like it's gonna go that way. That must be a really inaccurate kicker because it was kicked within that little shape that it has. So we stay alive, barely. And that's gonna be a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, I do have two different tight ends, so that's pretty cool. Did not know that was possible. And you could have two wide receivers at a time in this game, but not, did not know they let you have two tight ends. How did I not know that after playing Retro Bowl for so long? All right, we're gonna tie up the score here. No, we're not. Only, we're only gonna tie it if I go for two, I just realized that. Okay, I don't like the timing either because Baylor has a chance to score. Who do I dare? Yes, I'll go for it. That may sound crazy, but if Baylor's gonna score, I want them to score quickly. So it's like I, I pretty much have to get a first down anyway, or I stop them from getting a first down anyway. So it doesn't matter how long the field is. Oh boy, that's wide open. Wow, okay. I thought for sure that's gonna be a completion. And, oh, 50-50 ball, and they lost that one. Okay, so all of a sudden my defense is actually playing well. And I don't know why, because they weren't playing well earlier. Oh, to the right again. Wow. I'm really bad at those kicks. All right. So we're still alive. Now we're all of a sudden with a better position. But we have a long ways to go. Not much time. That quarterback ran used up a lot of time, so I'll call my first time out. Can't believe we almost lost this game. Might still lose it. Okay, we're gonna get down to the 25, the 20, 15. Okay, we got almost down to the 10, so I think we've got this game won, barely. Came down to our defense actually doing his job a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. I give him credit though, they did, they did get a couple of stops that are very important. But they also let Bailey go right down the field quite a few times. Oh, that's gonna be a touchdown. There we go, whew. It's getting a little worried there because the clock was going down pretty fast and I was not sure if we'd be able to get that. So it doesn't really matter. I'll go for the two here, but I think we're good unless Baylor has an incredible play. All right, okay, we're going to force them to run it. So that's pretty much gonna guarantee that we win this game. So I don't think they get that all the way back. And no, they don't. So 18 yards, that's all they get back to the 20 and we win. Barely. I thought that game was going to be much easier, but it actually ended up being pretty tough, surprisingly. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that game, and I will see you next week.